I'm Elizabeth Ald and I have the privilege of being the Christian leader at the Kings of Wessex Academy. I was um, helping lead a course at our church called Growing Leaders and as part of that course you, you really consider your life and what you really want to do, which was I love God and I love um, helping people who love him to follow him and to understand the Bible better and I also love um, helping people who don't know him to get to know him. And then I wrote at the bottom, preferably with teenagers. And I, I wrote that one holiday and um, I saw this job advertised not long afterwards and I never really knew that such a job existed. I know Miss Alden through times when I've been questioning different things and she's always very bright and quite happy and always very engaging. So you always feel, you know, it's, she's very easy to talk, she's very easy to go and just have a chat with because you'll end up laughing and you'll end up, you know, having a really deep chat but you don't realise you've had that deep chat until you get home and you think actually, well that was, that was quite, <laughs> that was quite full on. <laughs> but actually she, she poses good questions to the questions that you have so, you know, I come up with all these questions and she has not always got an answer for them but she'll give you a true answer so it's not always, you know, coming straight back to ministry and God and religion. She'll help you outside of those areas as well so it's, it's kind of, it's all linked in together and she'll give you a really good all round answer to your question, definitely. Things I don't like. Anytime like bad things happen to like good people or to like innocent people. I see my role here in summary as encouraging the students, staff, all the people in the community who, who love God in their walk with God within the school context and then providing opportunities for everybody to learn about God and to experience God in some way as much as they would like to. I love what I do here and I don't think I need to be ordained to do it and in some ways we have visiting speakers most of whom are ordained so I think for the students to see that yeah some people with a collar on believe in God but actually some people who don't have a collar on love God and believe in him as well so for me I'm very happy not being ordained and bringing in the ordained people to do the bit that they do so very well.